What if I told you several months ago that Lily Pichu and Sonic the Hedgehog would fuse to create the most helpful exploring character in Genshin Impact? You'd probably think I was insane. Well today, everything changed, and it's not because the Fire Nation attacked. Sayu is a completely unique character doing a lot of little things that are extremely helpful in the overworld. The package that she brings to the table offers versatility to anyone that plays Genshin Impact and will completely change the way people see and play the game. Let's first take a look at all the things that she brings to the table and see just why she's so helpful. She's Animo to activate any animal pillars, puzzles, and wind wheels. If you have a second animal character, she'll decrease stamina consumption by 15%, increase your movement speed by 10%, and shorten your skill cooldowns by 5% with Animal Resonance. Her elemental skill allows you to roll around in a Sonic-like ball, barreling into anything, and just like Sonic, this is the fastest movement ability in the game, even over Ayaka and Mona's special sprint. The best part of this is that it uses zero, yes, zero stamina, but it won't recover while you're rolling around. This means you can alternate her rolling with sprinting for maximum overdrive. Her passive makes Crystal Flies not run away, making her one of the most useful units in the game. She is a Claymore user, so she can mine Crystal and Amethyst Lamps clean and effectively. She can easily fill up the Parametric Transformer with Sonic Pinball Spins. And she can make Ice Bridges for memes and has massive meme potential. And also, you can now complete the full Chibi lineup with Klee, Dion, and Chi Chi because Sayu is now the fourth character. So, if you've always wanted that, you can now live the dream. The Crystal Fly ability will only work until you grab one, and then the others within the vicinity will fly away, so you will have to grab them all as fast as you can still. But with Sayu, what you can do is you can get as close as you need to one, and then plan them all out, and then grab them all as fast as you can. Even though it feels like it, you still cannot traverse water, even in ball form. You need to have ice applied to yourself so you can make the ice bridge, and that's the only way you can traverse water. And, like Ayaka and Mona's sprint, her roll skill can get stuck on terrain sometimes, which is mildly annoying. The best part is that the barrel roll also has applications outside of moving fast and ice bridges. The barrel roll can ram into enemies and is the funniest attack in the game. You are dealing animal damage the entire time, so if enemies are applied with another element, you can pinball non-stop into several enemies and chain together. On top of that, she can also heal with her ult, and when she's not healing with the ult, it'll deal damage to everyone around. I don't see what there isn't to love about this character, she literally has it all. If you plan to run around and mine for crystal or collect world artifacts, she can easily take you around and farm the crystal with her claymore. If you have Razor or Zhongli to mine more efficiently, then she can always be your team's taxi driver. And you can always pair them with animal resistance to make your team travels even smoother. Sayu's usefulness is completely unparalleled, and even if you don't plan to use her for combat, there will always be something that you can use her for. So I know that calling her the best is a bold claim, so let's compare it with other very good exploration characters. Zhongli prevents your teams from getting interrupted by enemies with a permanent bubble and has amazing AoE instant mining potential. Razor can also clear out mines fast and has extra sprint stamina along with Kaya. Kaching allows you to blink anywhere up and around so you can reach those hard to access places. Mona and Ayaka have the fastest sprint ability in the game. d Luke can mine crystal and other ore in 3 strokes of attack versus her 4. Amber will help with puzzles because she's Pyro, and an archer, and she has better gliding. And Venti will let you traverse heights like Kaching, helps with gliding like Amber, is a bow user for puzzles, and is Animo which helps with resonance. I would really say the biggest thing that Sayu does not have in her kit is the ability to jump or get somewhere hard to reach, but you can always just pair her with someone like Venti for the resonance boost anyway. So after testing and exploring with Sayu for a little bit, here's my big takeaway from all of it. Sayu can do a ton of different things to help you out, from combat to exploring. However, despite being able to do all of these things, she isn't necessarily the best at everything, which puts her a lot closer to a jack of all trades. But the fact that she can at least do all of these is immensely helpful. She's not meant to be put on a team and solve all of your problems. You'll still want a Zhongli or a Razor for mining more efficiently. There's Kaching and Venti to skill heights, and Mona or Ayaka are there to fast travel when Sayu is on cooldown. Sayu doesn't replace all of these characters, she supplements them on your travels and that's why she's incredible. Even if you don't have some of these characters like Zhongli, Mona, or whoever else, she can still fill the roles that you need just fine. If you've already made your mind and you need to skip to roll on an upcoming banner like Ball or Kokomi, then I completely understand. Sayu's gonna come back someday. Trying to gamble on a specific 4 star is always dangerous, especially when you aren't too keen on the 5 star banner character or have a locked pity. 
But if you would be happy with the Oimiya, and have ample primo gems, then by all means, it can't hurt to spend a couple rules. You just might get a travel buddy that completely changes the way that you play the game. But please, please, please be responsible when you roll. I'm heavily of the mindset that you, the player, should determine whether or not you want to roll on someone. So it's hard for me to full recommend rolling on characters because everyone's experience is different. While I won't ever give anyone, including Sayu, the title of must pull, I'm gonna give the closest thing that I can, which is my seal of recommendation, and a thumbs up, which you should give this video if you enjoyed. If you don't end up getting her now, I hope that you can get her at some point in the future because she's a ton of fun and super duper useful. There will always be a use for her. Alright, that's all ladies and gents. I really hope this video helped you out and helped you make a decision whether or not you want to roll for Sayu now or in the future. Be sure to check me out on Twitch for when I go live. And as always, have a wonderful day. Check out these other videos if you haven't already. I love you all. Peace out.